The winter of 2020 to 2021 looks to be one of major eruptive bird movement as poor cone crops in the northern forests push birds into the lower 48 states in search of food. This winter, we're looking to find every winter finch and other eruptive migrants that travel through the Midwest. Our first target bird is the colorful purple finch. With the winter finch forecast predicting strong southward movement by purple finches, we headed to a place where we had found a few of them in the past to see if they would be there once again. Hey everyone, we're at the DNR headquarters in the South Kettle Moraine State Forest and we're here looking for purple finches today. So this will be our first of the eruptive species that we're looking for. And we're hoping to find a male and not just the females because the males are a little bit more colorful. Like many other finch species, purple finches are sexually dimorphic, meaning that males and females are visually discernible. While females are by no means ugly, boasting brown and cream striping on the face and underside, the males are extremely eye-catching with reddish-pink colorations. Do you see anything good at the feeders? Uh, not hatch, white-breasted. Looks like there's a lot of stuff up in the trees. So I say we just wait for a while and see what comes down. We approached the feeder scanning for finches. We immediately saw female purple finches up in the tops of the trees. We waited near the building hoping they would come down to the bird feeders. After a little bit of patience, the purple finches arrived. After getting plenty of videos and pictures, we took a quick break to admire the snow-covered forest. When we returned, we were related to not only see the female finches, but also two males showing their colors on the gray and snowy day. The purple finch is a winter visitor to the southeastern United States and can be found year-round in the north and northeastern U.S. and the west coast. They brood throughout central and southern Canada, where one to two broods are produced per year with two to seven eggs per clutch. In the summer, they are normally found in evergreen forests, but expand to more diverse habitats in the winter. Males are wine-stained red with a lighter lower stomach and dark wings, and females are brown with a streaked stomach and white eyebrow and mustache stripe. Purple finches feed mostly on conifer seeds, but also eat berries, fruits, soft buds, insects, and more. Nests are made far out in tree limbs and are normally made of sticks, roots, and grasses. What do you think? They're great. We waited a long time to see a male, and then two males on and up popping out. Did you think we'd even see a male? I did not. I was here the other day and I only saw females, so it's nice to get some male views. This is where I can see so many purple finches down south so far. Because every year they get a couple of them here, but I've seen at least five or six of them. And there's a couple really nice looking males, and they really do look like they're wine stained compared to what a house finch would look like. So this is really awesome to be able to see these birds go into this feeder in a nice winter environment like this. Seeing these brightly colored birds with the snowy backdrop was an amazing experience, and it felt great to check our first eruptive species off of our list. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Badgerland Birding. Yeah.